Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury, and today guys, I want to show you a wonderful Instagram channel. That's right, an Instagram channel who's also a great fan of Archie Luxury. Father.time.luxury.watches. Father.time.luxury.watches. This guy here combines photography <clears throat> with beautiful watches. Have a look here. Look at this. Very, very nice display of watches and uh, just in a great look at this his food with watches his coffee with watches just great great photos great watches and a great lifestyle look at this beautiful cigar and you can click on any of these pictures here inside Instagram and see the lifestyle look at this ah what a wonderful way to enjoy a cigar so there you go, guys. Check out father.time.luxury.watches. Father Time Luxury Watches. Check it out, guys. You will love it. Hey, guys. It's Archie Luxury. And uh, today, I just want to talk about a topic that uh, I was hoping I wouldn't have to cover, and it's dealing with deadbeat losers. And now that I've you know, I live a public life. I announce the burglary to my audience. Um, now that I, um, uh, I've showed you how, you know, upset I, I was at losing my, my watch collection. And I've obviously I've started a GoFundMe. Uh, it actually brings out some really nasty low life people. And I'm not saying this is all poor people, but these are people who, you know, in life, they always took the easy way. They sat on their ass and did fuck all. I'm actually getting a large amount of hate mail. That's right. And real, real nasty, nasty um, individuals concerned here. And I had one guy who I haven't seen him since Andrico's funeral when he decided to critique the sexual prowess of all the women at the funeral. Real classy guy, classy dude, extreme. He's written to me and said, oh, I'm sorry to hear this. You can just see the glee and excitement. He's really happy. Um, that I have had the misfortune of being burgled. And you can just see in his email the joy and excitement it brings him knowing that I am suffering. And, you know, it's, it's, quite, it's quite funny. Um, misery has many friends. A lot of people get joy out of another person's misery. And I got to be totally honest with you. Um, I've received quite a number of nasty emails. You know, they think I was, you know, pitching above my station in life. They thought I was a smart ass to collect these things. Who did I think I was to buy these expensive watches. I had moral, moralistic people say to me, this is what happens when you hoard things. It'll, it'll, the universe will rebalance it. And, um, yeah, it's really, really quite disappointing. Um, the only thing is, of course, is that unlike the guy in the council house who will have nothing, will never have anything, and he'll always be on his ass eating tinned pies and cheap apple cider. I have the ability to earn money. I've been there. I've built an amazing collection. I've done it many times. This won't be the first time I rebuild it, and it won't be the last time. I've been there. And... The reality is there is, um, 
Yes, it's a, it's a major setback. Yes, of course. It's a major setback. But I don't owe any money on the items that I had. I don't owe any items to other people. They were all mine that were, were burgled. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll move forward. I'm going to work hard on YouTube. And hopefully in a couple years time, I have a better collection. More meaning in the collection. And this particular individual will still be eating tinned pies and cheap cider. Drinking cheap cider. So, I, I, I gotta tell you, it does hurt. It does hurt when you get people who get excitement out of your misery. It does hurt. People, people can be quite cruel and nasty. Uh, I mean, it's it's you don't see this with the Americans. The Americans tend to be, I gotta be honest with you, generalize nationality. The Americans seem to be they're very supportive. Um, some of the lazy, lazy Brits, they get joy out of it because they think it's a class warfare sort of system. Uh, Australians. Uh, they're kind of between the two. They get some nasty comments. But, you know what? It's, it's, um, the good news is, is that I still have my ability to make an income, to make content, and to make videos for YouTube. So, in many ways there, the negative comments that are coming in. Yeah, they come in. They make ridiculous offers. Hey, I'll buy your LV box for 20 bucks. You know what? Let's see what happens in a couple years time. Am I still in this situation or have things improved? i got to be totally honest with you there. This has been a devastating blow. In many ways, I wish I wasn't on YouTube. I wish I could just have my quiet grieving and suffer in silence. But you know what? I didn't think that was fair. I didn't think that was fair. I wanted to show you the full picture, the full spectrum of what it's like. The good with the bad. <laughs> And I gotta be totally honest with you. You know what? I had an amazing trip in America. There's so much love in America. I gotta tell you, is it worth it? If I had my time again, would I have gone? Of course I would have stayed home with a gun. Of course I would have put everything in the bank vault. But you know, hindsight is a, you can't really do that. There was so much love for me in America. I remember landing and seeing Rich. Rich picked me up at, in San Francisco. We went to a waffle house. We had a great time, nice guy. We met friends in San Francisco. It was an amazing trip. Then I went to LA with AC Morgan. Man, he's a generous, kind guy. One of the nicest men you'll ever meet. What a cool guy. Met many wonderful people in LA. Rodeo Drive, we had a spiritual meeting with one of my fans who's a doctor from the Netherlands. Very spiritual meeting. We had a fantastic time in LA, Rodeo Drive. And then I was on a plane to Colorado, Colorado. I met Bondage, stayed with Bondage. What a cool guy, lovely. I wanted to see a nice American house and I love Colorado. I went and saw the Mork and Mindy house. I can see why Mork chose Colorado. 
met Bondage's great friends. He works, but that was a real honor to meet people he works with. Then we went to Dallas. Dallas was incredible. Dallas, oh my God. Dallas with Patrick Philippe, Mr. Valjou, shot in the dark. It was an amazing tour. Dallas, the steakhouse, the brisket. Arr, 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 the brisket. Then I went to Fort Worth with bondage the next day, a great day. Then it was on to New York. And I got a bit of a shock in New York. New York is a bit of a shock. But I soon learned to love New York. I love Manhattan Island. It was incredible. Incredible. Manhattan was amazing. I had John the limo guy pick me up. I had Mr. Zoso took me out. I had the most fantastic day out for my birthday. And then we went to Peter Luger's. That was amazing. Hoff, Anthony Pellegrini, Pellegrano. New York was incredible. And then to top it off with Vegas. We stayed at the Wynn. I saw Doc. We had a cabana. It was amazing. It was really amazing. So the guy in his council flat eating the canned pies with the cheap cider. I wouldn't swap anything. The love the fans have showed me. You can take my possessions. You can take my stuff. But you can never take the love that my fans have shown me and given me. I'll never lose that. I'll never lose that. And that's probably the most important thing. So, um, yeah, that's the, um, the way it goes. So haters, they're coming out. They, they enjoy my misery. It's the only cool thing is, is that in two or three years time, I'll be back stronger than ever. And they'll still be nasty little shits with absolutely nothing to show for it. I'm Archie Luxury, showcasing the good, the bad, the ugly. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer, hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because guys, I'm in a niche. 
nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.